Assalamualaikum friends, this is Dr. Asim and today we are, to, we are going to discuss another brief about injuries around shoulder joint, especially in sports like cricket, baseball, football. Now before going into the detailed phase of injuries, we must know the uh, phases of throwing, you know, exactly why we went wrong, you know. The phases of throwing can be itself divided into five phases, that is uh, wind up, cocking, acceleration, deceleration and uh, follow through. Now, wind up is that phase of throwing when we actually take a position to throw a ball. And then cocking is that phase of throwing when we actually lock our arm before throwing. And then acceleration is that phase when we actually give momentum to a ball to throw. And deceleration follow through are the after phases after acceleration. Now, one thing we must know is that injuries to shoulder joint mostly take place during the acceleration phase of throwing. Now, as for my assessment and my knowledge, the I have divided injuries around shoulder joint in sports in three phases or in three categories. That is number one, if a patient has difficulty in lifting his arm up, you know, like this, or rather difficulty in wearing clothes, consider patient has heading to periarthritis or frozen shoulder. Now, if patient has difficulty in lifting his arms up, you know, you know if uh, household work like, you know, getting something from Almira or something like that, now that time patient has injury to or rather there's abnormality with acromioclavicular joint. Now the important part is if a patient has difficulty in throwing a ball, that is what we are discussing. Now there is either injury to rotator cuff or long head of biceps tendon. Now the treatment phase of injuries to shoulder joint can be divided into four phases. Number one is correcting the faulty technique or abnormal posture around shoulder joint. Now that is something you know we really need to work on. Now we'll be discussing that in detail. Number two is NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like Lysa-D, Zerodol SP, extra, extra, and the things go on. Now, number three is the rehabilitation part. That is the stretching and the stretching, strengthening part around shoulder joint. Number four is cortisone. Now, cortisone is something, you know, which, is, which we should really avoid. And, you know, this is a trend nowadays in Kashmir. Uh, sports people either go for oral administration of uh, steroids or rather they go to injectable, intramuscular or directly into the joint. Now that's not my part we'll be discussing. Now the stretching, the stretching itself can be of five types, you know. Today we'll be rather focusing or rather discussing main five types of stretching that will be, you know, beneficial to sports person if they are facing some difficulties in throwing a ball. Keeping your hands on uh, hips and then rotating it front and back, you know. This is something which will stretch shoulder joint and releases tendons around shoulder joint. Now, number two is keeping your arm in a forward position in 90 degree and rotating it clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay. Number three is keeping your arm here and then moving it outwards. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't need to use any sort of weight, you know, while doing such stretching techniques. This is number three. Now, number four is simply keeping your hands on uh, hip and then taking your arm up. Like this. And number five is keeping your ha hands be beneath your back and then lifting your arm away from your back. You know, you don't need to lift your arm up. You have to drag your arm away from your back. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that, you know, before starting these stretching techniques, we must, we must, we must apply ice or rather take, I should not say take any non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Ice is something which is really beneficial to not only in sport, but in day to day, uh, you know, problems encountered by females or other males, I should say. Now, how to apply ice? Ice is something we really, really need to know how to use it. If a patient has pain, you know, if patient has pain, use ice for 12 to 15 minutes. If it is associated with inflammation, use ice for 15 to 18 minutes. Now, one common mistake we do is that, you know, after application of ice, we immediately lift it, you know, complaining that, you know, you know, that's not something we should do. We should complete, we should continuously keep it on the part which is affected for 12 to 15 minutes or rather 15 to 18 minutes. Now these were the five main stretching techniques of uh, shoulder joint.